Time to turn our attention to high school football. Max Preps, excellent 25. You know a lot of the names at the top. Perhaps not Gonzaga down at number 10. The school out of D.C., a perfect 2-0. Last week beat Don Bosco Prep out of New Jersey by 14. Their next game will be at Georgetown Prep in North Bethesda, Maryland. And with that, let's say hello to I call Mr. Everything at Max Prep. Zach Poff joining us from the West Coast. All right, time to break down the games of the week in high school football. I don't know if it gets any bigger than number two St. Francis Academy, number one modern day. This one's Saturday from St. John Bosco High School. Yeah, I mean, obviously, anytime you get number one versus number two, it's a get your popcorn ready type of game. And it's pretty cool because this is the third consecutive year. Number one versus number two is going down. St. Francis Academy, man, they got a straight SEC defensive line led by Chris Braswell. He's an Alabama commit. And then you got Jadavion Clowney's little cousin on the other side, Damon Clowney. This team's loaded with future college stars, and you'll probably see a lot of these guys playing on Sundays. And Tommy, during their 26-game winning streak, they're allowing less than five points per game, but they face easily the most explosive offense they've seen during that winning streak. You got Bryce Young at quarterback at USC commit. You can make a strong case. He's the number one quarterback in high school football. Last week, he set the school record throwing for 528 yards against Centennial, a team that's won back-to-back -back state championships in Arizona's 5A classification. He's big time, man. And you know, modern day's had some big time quarterbacks, JT Daniels, Matt Barkley and Matt Leinart, but Bryce Young's the one that's got the record by his name. I don't know who I'm picking, Tommy, but if I had to go right now, I'm probably going to lean modern day's direction here. All right, but you got time to change it, and if you do, make sure to follow Zach on Twitter. Moving on, you got number four, IMG Academy, number 12, St. Joseph's Prep. That's Friday, 7 o'clock at Rutgers University. What are you looking out for in this game? I'm looking at a matchup with Elias Ricks and Marvin Harrison Jr., man. I think this is going to be a big-time matchup. St. Joseph's Prep had a huge win last week, beating St. John's, a team that was ranked in the top, in the top five the week before. So that was a big win after they lost to Marietta. They got Kyle McCord at quarterback. He's a straight stud, 2021 Ohio State commit. And you got to look there at Jeremiah Trotter Jr., the son of former Eagles linebacker Jeremiah Trotter. He recently committed to Clemson. He's one of the best linebackers in the class of 2021. And IMG Academy got a big win last week also. They beat Northwestern. These two teams have the best defense in the state of Florida, in my opinion. And IMG flexed its muscle and showed why they are number one. And one of the main reasons why is their strong secondary led by legend Cavazos and Ohio State commit and Elias Ricks. He's committed to DBU, not Ohio State, LSU. Tell us a little bit more about Elias Ricks. Got an interesting story. He's now at IMG. Wasn't always the case. He's a five-star DB. You know, 24-7's got him in the class of 2020. Number one in Florida, number two quarterback, 15th ranked nationally. Yeah, I think he's the number one cornerback. No disrespect to Keely Ringo. He's big time at Saguaro, but Elias Ricks is the number one corner. Last year, he had six pick sixes, nine interceptions. What do you think he did to start off the year at IMG this year, Tommy? Crushed it. I don't know. Tell me. Six, so <laughs> <laughs> he had a pick six, man. That's what he does, man. He he gets it, he picks it off and he takes it back to the house. He's a playmaker. He's got size. He's got speed. He's got everything. He reminds me a ton of Richard Sherman with the size and speed and strength that he has. He's the best corner, and you can make a case he's the best high school football player in the class of 2020 also. And we saw Sherman ball out there against Tampa Bay and the NFL last weekend. All right, moving on. Number 16, St. John's at number five, Duncanville out of Texas. Who's your pick and why? Uh, I, this is tough, man, but I'm going to go Duncanville, the home team in Texas. It's always tough when teams travel to Texas to play. I love Jaquin and Jackson at quarterback. That's why I'm going to go with Duncanville in a tight game. I think St. John's is going to lose their second consecutive one. All right, we got one more left to go. It's really big in terms of NorCal supremacy. You got De La Shout 19. You got 22 over at Folsom. Friday, 7.30 is where it's going down. Give me the keys to the game in this one. Uh, the key for Folsom, you got to score early. De La Salle hasn't lost to a Northern California opponent since 1991. So if Folsom wants to pull the upset, they got to score early with Daniel and Gata. They got other weapons too, but Ngata is going to be the key for Folsom if they want to pull the upset. Got to give a shout out to Shamar Garrett too for De La Salle though. Most underrated player in the country in my opinion. He's big time, had almost 200 yards against St. Thomas Aquinas. I like De La Salle though, it's hard to pick against them when they play any Northern California opponent. All right, again, that goes down Friday night. Our thanks to Zach Poff joining us here on CBS Sports HQ. He'll be joining us weekly as well. Zach, great stuff as always, and check him out on Twitter.